welcome to Claire TV! I am Claire Fronteras, a third year civil engineering student from the University of Mindanao here in the Philippines. Today, I will be discussing the different modes of transportation. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we start, we have here icebreaker logic situations for you to answer. I will give you 10 seconds to answer each question. After the time's over, we will answer each situation right away. Number 1. Seven cars have met in an intersection and a traffic jam has been created. If one car was removed from the image, the rest of them would be free to move their way. Which car would you remove? What is your answer? The problem would be solved by removing the third car. There is a man traveling with his two sheep and a wolf. The wolf would gladly attack the sheep if the man were to ever leave it alone with them. At some point, the man reaches a river that he needs to cross. He finds a boat nearby but can only take one of his animals at a time. Remember that the wolf will eat the sheep if the man leaves them alone. How will the man transfer his animals across the river? And your answer is? He will take the wolf with him. Then he will return to get the first ship. On the return ride, he will take the wolf with him, leave him on the shore, and transfer the second ship to the other side. Finally, he will return to the, take the wolf across the river. Number three, a man stabbed his wife to death. And since no one was around at the time, he just left her body out on the ground and threw the bloody knife in the woods. He then got in his car and drove to his office. An hour later, the police called him to tell that his wife has been killed. They urged him to go to the murder scene right away. When he got there, he was immediately arrested. How did the police know that the husband was the killer? What do you think is the answer? The police didn't tell him where the murder scene was. Thank you so much for your participation. And disclaimer, the questions and answers shown above are not mine. All rights belongs to the brightside.me. Let's get started! Let us first define what is civil engineering. Civil engineering is one of the oldest branches of engineering, dating back to when people first started living in permanent settlements and began shaping their environments to suit their needs. It is the design and construction of public works such as dams, bridges, and other large infrastructure projects. Civil engineering is one of the major branches of engineering and as its name implies, is related to engineering for civilian applications. Civil engineering improves quality of life through the provision of infrastructure such as buildings, bridges, and other structures, highways, dams, and water treatment and waste disposal plants. Moving on, Let's have a brief definition on transportation in the field of engineering. Transportation engineering is a structural engineering division engaged in the preparation, construction, service, and maintenance of safe and reliable transportation systems. These networks cover highways, railways, 
rivers, and intermodal practices. Now, let us discuss the different modes of transportation. Mode of transport is a term used to distinguish between different ways of transportation or transporting people or goods. In major and small metropolitan areas, public transit is an essential component of the overall transportation services offered. A big benefit of public transit is that in heavily used corridors, it can offer high capacity and energy efficient movement. Let's play this short game, a uh, word search problem. So can you find the four different types or modes of transportation? I'll give you 20 seconds to answer. Good job! You found the four different types or modes of transportation. And now, let us discuss those four. So, those four major modes of transportation are the roadways, the railways, the waterways, and the airways. First, let us discuss the roadways. In logistics, the first and most predominant mode of transportation is the road transport. Transportation has been around longer than mode and is used more in every mode. As automobiles and road networks continue to develop, road transport is the most flexible of the four major modes, with the least regional restrictions. This road transport Feature makes it the chosen mode for smaller loads over shorter distances, and as such, the only mode that provides door-to-door -door deliveries in the road. The second one is the railways. Train travel is often referred to as transit by rail. This is a way of transportation on cars running on trucks, rails or railroads it is one of the most important widely used and very cost-effective ways of commuting and transporting goods over long and short distances as this device works on rails and wheels of metal usually steel it has an intrinsic advantage of lower frictional resistance that allows to attach more loads to wagons or carriages this device is referred to as rail. Trains are normally powered by a locomotive engine operating on electricity or diesel. Of the four modes, water transport is the slowest. However, this mode requires least energy to transport unit load across unit distance. Water transport is possible between the ports on the sea routes or along the rivers and canals where facilities for land transport are included. Last but not the least, airways. The air has become the newest form of transportation. Airplanes in domestic and foreign trade is becoming more relevant. Air transport is the fastest growing and most time efficient shipping mode with constantly evolving technology and nearly infinite route possibilities. Of the four modes, travel by air is the best mode of transportation. In addition to saving travel time for passengers and goods between airports, it also offers more convenience. And of the four modes, Water transport is the slowest. However, this mode requires least energy to transport 
unit load across unit distance. And now let's have a quick review of the four different modes of transportation. The first is the roadways. Second is the railways. Third is the waterways. And last or fourth is the airways. Thank you so much everyone for listening and watching this video. I hope that you, you have learned a lot in this video. And stay safe everyone. God bless. Bye!